It's a roundhouse punch defense. And I want, just let's look at that. There's several principles involved here. I want to make sure you guys understand. And then we'll delve into the takedown. So he's going to throw a roundhouse punch. Now the first thing is I'm actually stepping in to this punch, into the eye of the storm, so to speak. But I'm not just going to step right into the punch without doing anything to help negate his arm. At the same time I step in, this hand is going to claw the face, and I'm going to strike and hit and claw so that that's going to start turning him and prevent him from getting energy into this punch. Think of it this way. If I hold his head this way, try to throw a punch. In order to throw a powerful punch, what has to happen? His shoulders have to rotate. And if I check off his head this way, if I, if I strike and rotate his head, he can't turn, at least not as, as much. And if he tries to put as much power into that punch, he's going to hurt his neck. So when he steps in, I step in, and this is hitting, and here's a tip for you. If you're thinking of this as just a rake, you're thinking of it wrong. You're looking at it incorrectly. I'm going to strike with the heel of the palm and hit and rake across. So it's a heel palm claw across the face. He punches, I claw, this is going to wrap up and start locking, but at the same time, I'm going to strike with this hand and claw, and then come back with a chicken wrist. Here's your first lesson in takedowns. What am I set up for right now? Look at the configuration of our feet. From here, I don't have to, I don't have to do anything to set up for a takedown. All I have to do is come back around and take that leg out, and I've got him down. If I'm grappling with him, a few weeks ago we were working on a technique. Uh, go ahead, grab a hold of me. We're wrestling, and maybe he steps up because he's trying to set up and put himself in a position where he has leverage so that he can do what? He can sweep my leg out. We call it a hawk down. So he comes out, he tries to do that. Now, go ahead, uh, let's, let's demonstrate that again. Now you step up, and what am I going to do? I'm going to match distance. Now go to take me down. As he goes to take me down, because I've mirrored him, I can now take him down. He sees it coming, is what I'm saying. If I start a technique, maybe I block a punch, and I'm out here, and I go to step, if he knows anything about takedowns, he's going to already kind of have a feel for what I'm trying to do, and he can counter it. If you look at the setup of this combination, throw your punch again, I'm setting myself up for the takedown by the way I'm handling his attack. I'm stepping into the eye of the storm. It sets me up perfectly now to just come back around and I just pushed him with my palm, but that would be a ridge hand or a forearm strike to the throat. Okay? So there's the beginning of it. Uh, I'm not going to do the last couple of moves in the technique. We're just going to work up to the takedown today. I'm going to let you guys work on that. I'll demonstrate it one more time and then let you guys get to work. And then we'll pick apart a couple other concepts. I don't want to give you too much at once. So the punch again. One. See how the hands are working together. Two. Watch the counterbalance. My foot and my hand are still working together. When we start the technique, my foot and my hand are moving together. And this is a punch to the head. My triceps serve as a block, as a check, in case this doesn't fully negate this arm from coming around, which, which it isn't going to. I want that arm to come around a little so I can wrap it up and trap. So this works together. This works together. My arm and my leg, and then I come back, striking right in the throat. Okay, let's get to work on that, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this technique in a couple minutes.